Cali No more limit, just bet me My name ain't Keith, but I see the way you sweat me L.A., Miami, New York, say no more, get on the floor So I was at McDonald's eating lunch with my bro Jose when all of a sudden this happens. So right now I'm at McDonald's and I want to show you guys hood rats of this. Listen. Wait, I don't think they can hear that. Alright, that's it. Thank you McDonald's for serving me a brick. Um, but if that wasn't hood ratchet enough, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back to when I first got on the line at McDonald's. Uh, so I was waiting and all of a sudden this guy, he calls over one of the cashiers and he's like, um, do you have any more of this doll? And he points at, at a blonde one. I'm like, okay. And then the lady's like, no, they kind of change every week. Um, so I don't think we have any more of those. And then he goes, well... Uh, just give me anyone except for the dark skin one, La Prieta. And he said this in Spanish, and I was able to understand just because I speak a little bit of Spanish, or at least I understand Spanish, let's put it like that, and I was shocked. I really didn't know what to say, I didn't really know what to do. I was just like, wow, this is so hood ratchet. I really wish I could get this on camera, but I didn't do it because I couldn't even get through the... I, it was hard to process what was going on. So I'm going to... I'm going to show you guys this photo right now, the toys. That's the only thing that I got, but I'm going to show you the toys right now. So, yeah, this guy is a complete idiot. He's obviously never read a book a day in his life. He's never been in a school. He's never even, he's never been in a place where there are intellectuals or anything going on. So I can't really, you know, and, and actually this, to, I hope you guys don't think this took place in the Bronx. This was on the Upper East Side, but that's just life, you know what I mean? A lot of people think that, lately I've been dealing with a lot of racial issues or whatever, and it's just like, I, people think, and it starts from something small like that, you know what I mean? I think people wait for something big to call it uh, a racist act or to call it a crime uh, or, or a or act of hate or whatever people wait for something huge to happen, but something like that. You, and then, and the kid, the little girl, was not too far from there and this is what's being in, 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 ingrained in her head ingrained this is and then we wonder why people grow up to be the way they are you know what I mean and it's just about self-hatred because at the end of the day you know what I mean like especially being Hispanic like we're all still the same you know at, at the end of the day we're all still the same and I think right now I'm taking a stereotypes class and I realize that it's the small things people wait for the big picture for the for like for the big acts to, to occur, to, to get excited and to say we, we should we should change and we should do this. No, it's the little things. And yes, I didn't say something at that particular moment in time, but because I was processing everything, I, I really was. And rather than get excited and get and get angry, I decided to make this video and air him out the right way, the way that I should on Hood Ratchetness TV. Um, another person that I want to air out is the guy that was eating right in, not in front of me, not Jose. The guy that was eating right ac across from me, uh, he brought in stewed chicken, white rice, there was vegetable. I was like, this guy is really hood ratchet because it's not like he went to the line and said, let me get a drink and, you know, let me eat my meal. He just sat there. He was like, look, I'm going to eat my meal and whatever's going to happen is going to happen. He was chomping and chomping. I was like, wow, that's hood. People, if you're going to go to another restaurant where you didn't buy the food, where you didn't buy the food that you're eating there. Buy something. Anything. And if they argue with you, just say, well, I'm combining things. But don't go into one place and, and look for a reason for somebody to throw you out. Because that was hood. That was very hood. Sir, that was very hood. And here's a photo of him enjoying his stew chicken. I was lit when I was young. Alright people, I will see you later, stay tuned, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Facebook, no, a lot of people, wait, now this is going to turn into a shout out video, no, no shout out video, just shout out to everybody that's um, part of the Facebook family, search Hood Rats in this TV, and comment, subscribe, like, do what you gotta do, God bless, see you later, one.